Hi everyone, how you doing? It's back to another train sim video and we are on the South Wales coastal route this time and driving a class 175. So let's um, unpause the game. Open the doors. Jump in the cab and do a little bit of setting up. My first time driving this one, so... <whistles> Doors closed already? Really? Right, we'll go about this the easy way. Lights are on, uh, we are good to go and we have got a green aspect. So we will be um, uh, go via Stormy Downline. Uh, we shall be picking up passengers from Port Talbot, Neath, and finally Swansea. Some of you have seen me drive this route before, but not in this unit. It's the first time driving this one for me. Acceleration so far seems very good. Not quite sure what the braking's like yet, but we will find out.
certainly is different. It's obviously tinted glass because looking outside is bright as it's just gone three o'clock in the afternoon, game time. But yet you get in the cab and it looks quite dim outside. But I tell you what, she flies. And as you can tell from outside, we have got the Arriva delivery. Not bad, actually. Uh, my, I'll give you my honest opinion. When I first looked at it, when I installed the South Wales Coastal, and I seen this was on there, and I looked at the front, and I thought, ooh. I thought, hmm. I don't know if I can bring myself to drive that now, but looking at it now, I actually quite like it. I actually do quite like this, guys. Don't know what the horn's like. Yeah. I'll go with that. Yeah, I like it. I wonder what passenger view is like. Pretty good. It's quite comfy and cosy. No one on there coughing their guts up, which is good. Yeah. I quite like it. The cab looks pretty good. Yeah. Will this work? No. And guess what? Brakes are good. Wow. Brakes are awesome. I quite like this unit. Good for acceleration, good for braking. And there's not a bad look to it either. So we are getting close to our first uh, port of call now, which is Port Talbot. Parkway, should I say, Port Talbot Parkway. Our first station stop on this service. And as you can probably tell by my voice, I'm quite enjoying this.
get down to around 30 miles an hour and then we'll knock off the brakes. But no. Coast gently in it less. Yeah, I'm sure these windows are tinted because you look outside, it's quite bright. get inside it's you know I don't think it's anything to do with my settings I don't know I'll have a look at it Port Tavert Parkway platform number one I do quite like that, you know. Let's go to camera options, field of view. It's a thing I haven't changed anything. I don't think field of view will change a lot apart from giving us a lot of cab view. Uh, I think if we should sit back a bit. give us more of a driver's seat view. I don't actually mind this little uh, unit. Let's see what it looks like pulling away. Quite hot off a mark. This seating position is better. So, roundabout is where our head should be. Considering I had before a bit there. Yeah, sat near enough to where our head should be seating position so he sat back nice and relaxed controls just there yeah We are running career scenario, so I am getting points, so I'm watching my speed and also watching the locations of where I stop on the platform. Just wish outside the window here wasn't so dark. It's outside, it's lovely. Perfect.
and I will also get points taken away from using my horn as well. Seventy mile an hour. Speed change coming up. The braking and the acceleration on this is absolutely fantastic. So as I said before, this is my first time driving a Class 175 and I quite like it. First one I seen it I thought, oh, what an ugly looking beast. But no, after, I've, after having a look around it, as I say, after having a look around it and driving it, I quite like it. Lovely to drive. And this is Neath, Arriva Trains, Wales. It certainly is different, I love it. I'll lose some points for you. God, that's only not one on the acceleration we're up to 20 miles an hour already oh my god is it like that in real life honestly if anyone's from around this area that I'm driving this South Wales coastal route and you you do this 
you travel this route or you drive or you're a driver that drives this route honestly on not not one acceleration does it honestly pick up speed that quick let me know in the comments below i'd love to know if it does because that is absolutely <laughs> incredible but it picks up speed that fast so yeah let me know in the comments below if you indeed travel on this or you or you're a driver of this route that is insane look that's notch one acceleration look how quick it's building up Right, we've got a 75 mile an hour limit, so we'll go full power. That is just absolutely crazy. I mean, the speed this picks up, the passengers must be sat in their seats, like be, they must be feel like being on a fairground ride. With a G-force putting, you know, it's like holding you back. With the speed this picks up, off the mark. That is, it, it can't be real. Honestly, it cannot be real. They must have super grips, but grips between the wheels and the rails. No, honestly, I mean, if it's, if this is realistic and this honestly does pick, pick up speed like it does on the game here, then please, 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 please do let me know in the comments below because I'd love to know. And I shall also be doing some research myself. But this is a fun little train to drive. This really is. What is the actual top speed of this? Uh, does it say? Um, bear with me. Okay, so I just looked up the cla the um brief brief um little bit of information of the class one seven five 
whilst we've got a little gap between here and the signal, so I shall read this through very quickly. In September 1997, North West Trains placed an order from Alstom for 27 train sets. The original order was for 11 two-carriage units with a top speed of 100 miles per hour, seven three-carriage units with a top speed of 100 miles an hour, and nine three-carriage units with a top speed of 125 miles an hour, and on speed. So basically we're talking a hundred mile an hour folks. What I might do in a video one day for a bit of fun, we shall get onto a free roam scenario. I shall load this one in. I might put a timer on and see how long it takes from a standing start, how many seconds it takes from a standing start for this one to get up to 100 miles an hour. Actually, we're a few videos in now. And it seems like I'm getting some views, so let's have a little bit of fun. Let's have guesses in the comments below of how many seconds you reckon this will take to get from a standing start up to its top speed of 100 miles an hour. Put your answers in the comments below and then on the next video after this one we shall see how long it does take so yeah answers in the comments below of how many seconds you reckon this will take to get from a standing start up to its top speed of 100 miles an hour And no cheating is allowed. <laughs> that means no Googling. I know you will anyway, so, you know. Where did I say we was going on this one? Yeah, I quite like it. So we are now uh, about to approach Swansea. Honestly, the acceleration on this. <laughs>
No, I really did enjoy this one. I know I've said it a few times, but this is a fun little unit to drive. And here we are now approaching Swansea, platform number three. Bit noisy out there, so yeah. Um, what I was saying before. I'm sure plenty of you know now, but yeah, you know, so like next video we shall um, run this from a standing start up to its top speed of 100 mile an hour and we shall see how many seconds it takes. So put the amount of seconds you think it will take in the in the comments below. And then we shall see. Well we shall find out on the next video. But um thank you very much for um watching folks. We should know open the doors. We are now at our final station stop on the um, South Wales Coastal Route, classing a one driving a 175 unit from Sw to Swansea. Um, thank you very, 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 very much for watching. Thank you to my um, recent subscriber, and please give a thumbs up or give a thumbs down if you don't like the video. I'm quite strong, so you know I can I can take the thumbs down and. Also, please subscribe. When you subscribe, hit that notification bell. When you hit that notification bell, you will be notified of videos which have just been uploaded. Nicely done. Driver scenario completed. So let's see what we've done in a minute, folks. Before we shut the video off. So, speeding. Bit of speeding happening now. Speeding there as well, seriously? Oh well, that's what the game thinks, but I'm pretty sure we was under the speed limit along the way. But there we have it, folks. Okay, I shall see you on the next video. Thank you very, very, very much for watching. Take care, stay safe, and catch you soon. Cheers, bye.